This is Coca-Cola, and this video is a complete walkthrough of Vesagitan, the second story island in Raft. This video includes locations to all notes and blueprints. Here are the topics covered in this video. Getting to the island and recommended items, lurkers and how to kill them, the outside and basement, gathering materials for the carjack and bomb, using the carjack and bomb, and what to do next. Let's get started. Getting to the island and recommended items. To get to the island, you need to use the coordinates that you received from the radio tower and plug them into your receiver. See my previous videos if you haven't gotten this far yet. Vasagitan is a crashed yacht with dark hallways and one of the very first enemies called Lurkers. It is also quite large and will take some time to explore. To be fully prepared, I recommend you bring at least one headlight, a spear or a bow and arrow, as well as a comfortable amount of food and water. Lurkers and how to kill them Lurkers are a new type of enemy that resemble large rats. Lurkers have a very straightforward attack pattern. They typically lunge towards the player in a straight line as their primary attack. Sometimes, if the player is close enough, the lurker will also do a low range swiping attack. Lurkers jump from a fixed distance away, so if you run away from the lurker, they will chase after you until they are in attack range. Lurkers don't hurt that much when they hit you, but since there are a bunch of them on this boat, try your best not to get hit. The best way to avoid their attacks is to back up as they wind up their jump. It also helps to sidestep to the left or to the right. Be careful of your surroundings. The boat has some tight spaces and you may not be able to back up as much as you need to. In this case, relied more on sidestepping to avoid being hit. Lurkers are the most vulnerable when they land. This is the best time to attack them with your spear or bow and arrow. Using a metal spear, it takes 3 hits to kill. And if you use bow and metal arrows, it takes only 2 hits to kill. I find it a bit faster and more consistent to use a spear. The outside and basement level. Unlike the radio tower, this location is not as simple as just going up and clearing the area one floor at a time. Many doors are locked or inaccessible, so you will have to backtrack occasionally to gather materials, make items, and open doors once you have access to them. Starting with the outside, on both sides of the boat you will find a mechanical part on rocks. One of them is above water and one of them is underneath. Mechanical parts are the first non-usable story items. You use them to create things or unlock certain areas on the island. You can check which items you have by pressing T and looking on the left side of the journal. I'll keep a list of items that you should have in the top right corner of the screen. Head to the rear of the ship and you will notice an open doorway that leads to a dark hallway. Put on your headlight and walk in. You will come across an electrical box on the wall on the right. Interact with it to flip the switch, which shines a light on the table that has the first note. On the counter behind it is a crowbar and recorder. Use the crowbar to open the door near the boxes in the same room, leading to another hallway. Locate the bathroom door, which has a red key hanging on the back wall. Make a right out of the bathroom and continue down the hallway, opening the first door on your left to find the second note and the gas tank. After you leave, Turn left and open the locked door using the red key. On the right after you walk in is another mechanical part. On the table is the third note and the bolt cutter. On the back tables you will find two workstations. One says requires five mechanical parts and the other says requires one electrical wires, one lighter, one gas tank, and one bullet. Our main objective when exploring the yacht is to find these items. Gathering materials for the car jack and bomb. We already have the gas tank and three mechanical parts, and the other items are scattered throughout the ship. There are actually seven mechanical parts laying around, so you will likely have more than the required five, but I'm showing you all locations in this guide. Head to this door in the hallway, and you will find a room with the first lurker. After killing it, use the bolt cutters to open the locker, revealing the fourth note and the blue key. You can use the blue key to access the locked door that leads to the stairs nearby. This brings you to the first floor. Head left and open the door which leads to the bar area. You'll find the fifth note and the bullet on the counter. Turn around to find the fourth mechanical part. 
Next, we are going to floor 3. Head back into the room and up the stairs. You'll face another lurker on floor 2. After dealing with it, use the stairs to get to floor 3. Which has the key card on the floor in the back. From here, go back down to floor 2 and use the key card to unlock the room in the hallway, grabbing the green key on the table. Continue down the hallway to find the sixth note and the four digit code. Turn around to find another mechanical part, bringing your total up to five. Go back down to floor 1 and travel all the way down to the hallway. The first open door has the 7th note. The second door, named Captain's Quarters, has a lurker inside. Once cleared, unlock the safe using the 4 digit code to reveal the 8th note and the electrical wires. The room to the left of the captain's quarter has another mechanical part. Almost done. Go back up to floor 3. At the top of the stairs, turn left and head straight, leading to another set of stairs. Go up to 4th floor and use the green key to open the door. Go behind the bookshelf to find the ninth note and the lighter on the bed. Now we have all the required materials, let's head back down to the basement. The easiest way to do this is to open the doors that lead to the balcony and then walk to the back entrance. Make your way back to the room with the workstations and assemble the car jack and the bomb. Use the car jack on floor 3 to find the 10th note. Go back upstairs to floor 5, where you can place the bomb. Make sure to stay clear of the door so you don't get hurt from the explosion. In this room, you'll find the blueprints for the steering wheel and the engine, as well as the final note on the wheel. Congrats! You now have all the blueprints and the notes, including the coordinates for the next story island. If you haven't already, you should revisit all the rooms to collect any materials. There are a lot of valuable things here. Here are most of the things that I picked up on my stop here. 
what to do next after leaving. Your next story island is a place called Balboa Island. You might notice that you can't get here just with your sail. This is where the new engine and steering wheel come in. Depending on the size of your raft, you may need to build multiple engines. If your wheels turn very slowly, that means you need to use more. Proper functioning engines should sound like this. Thanks so much for watching this guide. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, if I missed something, or if you just want to say thanks, please feel free to comment on the video or message me on Discord. I'll do my best to answer. Yeah. Excuse me. I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. In my next video, I'll be covering Balboa Island, the third story island. See you all soon. Good luck.